take two. So, last night, I started filming a movie for this project. And, unfortunately, it ruined my SD card, which was just recovered. So, I have some shots to edit together. And, I will send to you that version as well. Of course, this will be really great because it's on time. Um, last night, I was wearing that shirt and tie. Today, I'm just wearing a little t-shirt. Um, so there's some few changes. Today I only have one light on me, and last night that was two. The only thing that has improved, probably, is that I'm wearing glasses as opposed to contacts, and there's a really cool backdrop, whereas last night it was just footballs. Um, as a review of my progress in the class, I was there at every class meeting. I went to every film screening that was at the dark side. I was prepared to go to the one that was during the snow. Luckily, we didn't have to because I really didn't want to. Um, I vlogged on most every movie. I think I've missed two of my blog entries on movies. I vlogged on most every class. Again, I think I missed two or three of those. Um, I definitely participated in class. Um, not only was I there every class period, but I probably talked more than some people, which I feel bad about. Um, I'm sorry. I need to learn to bite my tongue. That's something I'm working on as an individual. But as far as my uh, contributions to the class go, I think that I probably contributed more than I took away by commenting as much as I did. Uh, also, I think that my blog posts, like in my first one, I kind of sounded like an idiot child. I was like, hey, I made a Facebook post because the teacher said we could play on Facebook. And I put that in my blog. And um, and you made a comment about it, which was, again, where I got kind of iffy with the blogs and whether they were a blog or whether it was really just like a note to you as a professor. Um, also, I changed from in my movie vlogs from talking about uh, the storyline essentially to talking more about filmmakers and the crazy things they can do and a little bit about lighting um, and when I submit that other edited version when I talk about lighting I'll do some cool stuff with the lights because um, I have that capability um, also uh, as far as the readings go, I probably should have been more proactive about saying something about the chapters in the cinema book. I did all my Hopkin readings. I may have missed a blog post for them because they were so close to the film viewing. Um, and I did a lot of the film ones, especially at the beginning of the term, which when we were focusing more on it and some of the latter ones. Um, I really enjoyed the section about auteurs, whether it's the director or the actor. That's another thing that I put in my film reviews towards the end. I really do think that I deserve an A in this class just because of how much I participated in the class. Um, another thing that was in the grading section, uh, section was your uh, movie ex uh, explanation or review before the movie at the dark side. And um, I was paired with, I can't remember his name, um, but he's a little bit hard to understand his English. Um, and I think that, especially during the movie review, it was hard to understand. So I did my best to express everything that was needed to be expressed during that review, such as the awards and um, and how critically acclaimed the movie was before it even won a real awards. Um, that would be Lola Rent, um, in case you weren't there for the later moving screenings. That way you don't have to look it up. Um, also, I was planning on doing another media device, which was just sound recording because I'm a DJ at the school radio station, so I was going to do a podcast. But um, I've been spending all day today trying to figure out my mess up, and I literally, right before I started recording this at, uh, it's like 6.15 right now, figured out that my SD card was okay, 
and that I don't have time to stitch all that together and turn it in by 8 p.m. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light and read over some of these. There we go. Let's go with a blue background. Some of these learning outcomes that were in the syllabus. The first learning outcome was uh, to identify and account for German films, directors, and actors as part of international cinema. Um, I honestly, after this class, probably know more about German directors and actors than American. Uh, you can ask my friends. We'll watch a movie, and I don't know anything about the actors. They're like, oh, I don't know. Mark Zuckerberg's in this movie. See, that's not even an actor, but that's the first name that came to mind because um, I really don't know any actors. And I'm like, who's that? What movies were they in? That's the only way I can tell. And so um, if someone were to be like, do that for one of the films that we'd watch, one of the actors in them, I'd be like, oh yeah, I recognize that name. Um, they were in such and such a movie. So that's probably how my learning outcome was for that. It's still not the best, like as opposed to somebody who already knows movies who's taking the classes might do it better than me. Um, it was kind of cool that the same girl that's in Lola Rent uh, was also in the Bourne series as the love interest. Um, we were supposed to be able to analyze and critique films and film genres within their historical and cultural settings. Um, I feel like this is one of the ones that I was really looking at getting as a learning outcome going into the class. Um, I thought it was really cool that we were doing older films as well because I'm very into German history and uh, I think that to be able to analyze something in its cultural setting as opposed to just, you know, watching a movie is important and I do that with books as well. Uh, also we we're supposed to illustrate terminology of critical film studies and the discussion of films. Um, and I talked about Dutch tilts and canter cameras and different lightings and backdrops and the difference between a live shot like out in the wilderness versus a stage shot like in a theater, which was very popular in the 20s um, for Derek Gollum and stuff like that. I also, it says we're encouraged to bring friends, family members. I convinced my girlfriend to go to a couple of the movies, but that's it. And I got in trouble for not bringing her to Nosferatu because I was busy that week and didn't tell her what movies we were watching. Um, as far as analyzing and critiquing goes, that's... Um, Another way that I analyzed and critiqued as well is I was very into seeing how they portrayed the, um, the historical background of a movie and kind of applying that to all of my other history knowledge and seeing how accurate it looked to me. And in some of the movies that were filmed in the actual time period of my history knowledge, I was able to critique my history knowledge compared to the film and, and see how accurate my knowledge of history was compared to what was there. Um, so my knowledge versus reality, essentially. Um, we were also supposed to recognize literary and artistic forms, styles, techniques, and cultural historical contexts in which they evolve. Um, I thought it was really cool when we watched the interviews between the actor and director that essentially hated each other. Um, and that's just not really a historical context. I guess that's a personal context. But um, I guess that for me, the stuff about the war, even though uh, in the movie with all the marching, I fell asleep and and lots of movies I did too. But, um, and that's another thing that I want to be clear on is that I was really honest in my blogs and I know that you mentioned that we might sleep in them. So I just wanted to say that uh, to, 
I recognized how the history was in the movies and that culture is much different than ours. Um, I'm supposed to analyze how literature and the arts shape and influence the culture. Um, well, especially in the science fiction movie that we watched, um, there was a lot of... Uh, it influenced the current modern-day American culture in that like Star Wars and Star Trek use some of the same effects. Um, and Star Wars and Star Trek are currently in, you know, everywhere that you go. McDonald's has Yoda toys. I don't know. Um, and, like, uh, for me, it affects the culture that I live in to watch movies about the past because it informs me more about what happened in the past. Um, we're all supposed to be able to reflect critically on the characteristics and effects of literary and artistic works. Um, I think that uh, that goes ties along very well with analyzing and critiquing films, because that is a literary and artistic work. Um, they talk, that's literate, and it's artistic, because in many of the films that we watched, they were low-budget and very... Um, very much an auteur style film. Uh, and the last film that we watched was an only a $2 million budget. And it was very good. Um, I am very curious on, like, I would think that it was probably an auteur style film. I looked into it, and that's the conclusion I kind of got. But I'm definitely not the expert on this. So I would love feedback on this movie. And plan on submitting the other one sometime in the next week. Uh, it's finals week, so I'm of course busy. I probably won't submit it till Friday. I hope you enjoy this in the meantime, and that it is sufficient to get the grade I deserve, which I personally think is an A from how much I participated and how much that I took in from this class. Like, it's there's no way for me to watch a movie without thinking, how did they get the camera to do that? angle and why is why is the light blue i mean you know it's awesome i have two color changing led lights that i got so that i could do weird movie stuff um and hopefully you can see that in the next movie enjoy this thanks for considering my grade have a great day sebastian